moment, but we will get a fresh one out to you um, ASAP. Uh, and then, uh, as you might have seen on my story today, I also joined Telegram uh, through advice of a friend of mine called Stephen Bartlett, um, who I'm doing, I just did a podcast with the other day, who's a really, I can't even call him an up and coming businessman actually after really researching and reading up a lot of the things he did. Uh, I, I, the only reason I thought he was so, so new to the table, he's just joined, um, I mean, I think in America you guys call it Shark Tank over here, we have Dragon's Den, uh, and he is the youngest dragon ever, um, which is what a title. <laughs> who wants to you know, grow up and be a dragon? Um, even in the business sense of the word. Um, but it was one of the best chats I've ever done, hands down. Uh, so I'm excited for you to see that. But he told me to join on Telegram to, to, to reach out to you guys. And we had a little bit of a disaster. I left it in the hands of someone I thought was extremely capable. And they simply forgot how technology works. <laughs> He's pretending not to listen now. Uh, and yeah, we broke a phone. Which is funny because back in the day... When we were in the band, I mean, I don't think you guys know this, but we used to wait for people that we didn't like to leave their notifications on, and then we would like, oh, make sure you follow this person on Twitter, and then their phone would break for days if somebody did something that annoyed you. It was like a phone uh, hack thing we used to do, which was quite funny. Um, so, yeah. Uh, obviously, you all know uh, I've been talking a lot about NFTs recently. There's going to be a lot of good videos to follow on uh, helping you guys learn about this stuff, uh, along with me as well, I, I might say. I, even though I've made one, I'm still learning about the, the art of it and what, what it means to me at this point, I think, um, through making one, which has been a really great, great way to learn, actually. Um, but it's the future, uh, as we see it. Uh, you must have all heard of Bitcoins and things like that. It's a very Bitcoin-related uh, new technology that we found. Um, to give things worth, let's say, is what I, I believe the NFTs do. They give things worth and put a, a, a finite number on things, um, which, you know, makes for, for great collecting. Let's have a look through people here. There's a lot of ats. I've not seen this before. I mean, I've definitely seen the names that I'm getting atted with. I'm getting at Louis91, Louis T91, at Niall Horan, and at Zane. But I've never seen ats before. I wonder what this does. Does that mean they're tagged into this so they can watch along at home if they want to? No idea. We've got someone in the room from Chile. Um, hi there. It's good to see you. Yeah, there's a lot of ads going on. I've never seen this before. This is like a new, a new. Uh, I mean, I've done these these lives a lot throughout throughout a lot of the stuff we've promoted. Do you see how everyone's adding people? Add them. Oh, okay. I wish we could, but I'd, I honestly think they'll probably be busy doing something. <laughs> I reckon, maybe. I'd like to help, but the Telegram broke the phone. Yeah, the Telegram has broken the phone, actually. So we got a brand new phone for our Telegram. And it's just been this all day. The notifications, you can't use it. Yeah, you can, you're can. you actually not getting into it at the moment. You can't because the notifications keep... Are coming through so quickly, so you can't actually get into even look at stuff. Wow. Uh, so it's great to see you guys on there, and I'm hoping that we're going to find what use we can have for this at the moment. I mean, how quickly did the battery go down on this, by the way? Did it go really quickly? Because it's like empty. <laughs> wow. I mean, the power of you guys still blows my mind to this day, um, which is very funny. I mean, look at it. I can't even read that quick. Fries It's Delicious sent me a GIF. Fries It's Delicious is, is, a, is a rapid poster. How many people are on Fries It's Delicious computer? Because that can't be one person. <laughs> There's no way someone's that quick, unless they're like the most erratic office person I've ever seen. I'm going to hand you that back because it's blowing my head off. So once I find out how we're going we're gonna to do that, um, we'll figure it out together. Thank you. Oh, Has anybody got any questions or stuff that you want to know? Um, I'm trying to think of what else I'm going to say to you guys today. Oh, yeah. I mean, one of the great things I haven't really revealed to you guys yet about what I'm doing with this NFT, and it's been great to work closely with someone again who I haven't worked with for a long time, but has always been a really good friend of mine. One of the most professional people I think I've ever worked with as well, and like a real, someone you can proper look up to within the industry in my eyes because of how calm they are, even though they're an absolute superstar, um, is uh, Zed, 
who I've been working with. And we've also been working with City Gabe, who I, got, I showed you guys I bought some of his stuff. And you would have seen it in my, my roundup, I think. But yeah, it's great, great working with, with both of them. I mean, like I say, in particular Zed, because we've had so many great times together. And yeah, I'm, 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 it's, been, it's been really, really good. And actually to learn more about Zed in that sense as well, because I didn't know how much he was linked in with technology and how like, he's on the ball, man. Like he's seriously a very, very smart, smart guy. I hope your first day went uh, amazing, mate, uh, on Dragons, and I can't wait to see uh, what you do to the show. I was just telling everybody, actually, how great our chat was yesterday, but thank you for that, mate. Oh, do you know what? I wonder if we could add him in, actually, to have a chat with him. Yeah, add him in. Because I think Stephen's going to be better at explaining uh, the NFTs and how they work than I do. <laughs> But we had the most amazing chat yesterday. Let's see if you can answer. Hey! You're right, mate. How are you, Fred? We don't stop talking. I know. It's, it's yeah, ridiculous. I'm good. I've just got back to see, my hotel. See, what you do with this um, How was the first day on Dragon? <laughs> How did it go? It was good. So today was, um, today was a test day. So just, you know, trying my outfits on and um, getting used to this, the cameras and stuff like that. No, but it was... Um, it was good, a good experience. And tomorrow's the first sort of real day of filming. So I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. Well, that's good. You kind of got like a lead in day to it in a way. Yeah, I know because, you know, it's, um, it's a very unusual situation. There's five other dragons there. There's, you know, this entrepreneur is going to walk in and they're going to be probably terrified. Um, I, I don't know what questions I should be asking. Um, when, when you I'm speak- I'm sure you're not going to struggle with that. I was in the hot seat <laughs> yesterday, guys. Honestly, I mean, I, so. it was a hot room, but I think the questions <laughs> were getting me a lot more hot under the collar. Right, I definitely I said some things honest. I shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Liam, I said to Liam after on WhatsApp, I said, honestly, Liam has been my favourite guest ever on the podcast oh, for you. a number of reasons, because he's so willing to be honest and real. And also, the guy that you see, you guys will know this better than I do, but the guy you see on camera um, is the exact same guy off camera, real, honest, um, and incredibly, incredibly smart and self-aware. So I, I mean, appreciate it from you, on. man. That's a big, that's a big compliment. <laughs> that's a big compliment. Give me, give me a hand here for a second, because I'm just trying to explain. I've been trying to explain NFTs to these guys for a while, but I feel like you have a much better explanation. How, what's the quickest summary you could give me on NFTs? Oh, it's a good question. Um, so one way to look at it is um, it's, it's a ticket or it's a, um, it's a ticket that cannot be duplicated and I think fans of boy bands and fans of artists will know how much um, fraud there is um, because because of Ooh. sort of uh, replicas being made and fake tickets being produced and it's basically because it's linked to the blockchain it means that you cannot um, fake it you cannot uh, replicate it it cannot be duplicated and there can't be fraud um, which is using a new technology called blockchain so in, in the case of NFTs, this is a piece of artwork where you know there is only one in the world. Love it. I knew you do, but oh, we've lost sound. I've lost sound. Oh, there you are. I've got a, got a call coming in. They cannot, um, they cannot replicate it. They cannot um, pass it off. So you're, the piece of work that you've been working on, which I don't think people are ready for, which is amazing, <laughs> and also the backstory linked to your NFT, which is incredible, means that right. these are going to be um, unique pieces and they can't be printed, replicated, um, or knocked off. So, yeah, couldn't be more happy for you, brother. Uh, thank you, mate. Well, listen, it's been good to speak to you, and I'm glad that the, uh, the test day went well. I'll be Thank thinking you, of you on screen tomorrow. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. Wish me luck. Thank you, mate. Nice one. Have a good one, bye. bye. Bye, bye, bye. Guys, I don't think you understand how, how cool and, and awesome that guy actually is. Um, I mean, I can't even give you a, a backstory on him, but he is an amazing uh, young entrepreneur. He's a year older than me. And what he's managed to do in his career so far is absolutely uh, amazing. So I've got to give big love to him. How nice was that, Steve? Look, I, I love him, he's ace. Um, and he has the cutest dog ever, which I think I'm going to have to get one of those dogs. I like that dog.
it was very, very fun. Um, but yeah, so I hope that explained it a bit better for you. I mean, I actually didn't think about the, the application of it in that sense for, for fans. And, and, you know, I mean, I'm sure you guys might have experienced this at our concerts before when you have scalpers and people remaking things. And, 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 you know, we need to kick that thing out of our industry a little bit. And this is going to rewrite the laws of the music industry a little bit in a way, um, which is exciting. Oh, he seemed nice, Phoebe Laws. He is very, very nice. Um, has anybody got any questions they would like to know about stuff? Am I showing anything tonight of the artwork at all, or is that coming out later? Because you've told me a lot of things today, Stephen, and I'm lost. <laughs> we'll definitely be sending some links. I forgot my front name. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send some links, and we're going to let people know where it's going to be, because it, it takes a while to digest. So I'm just going to... Yeah, we re I really want to get you guys I I in involved on this. And, and, and... Oh, hang on. Did you ever get that video about teaching Bear how to swim? No, I didn't. I'm going to print screen your name because I'm interested to see if it's good. And thank you very much for that because it is quite the challenge. Uh, new music soon. There is a song. Okay, I don't you guys think I've gone away from music or shied away from music. There is a song. Uh, and I'm having a few producer friends of mine just talk of us uh, trying to go. I mean, the, the travel thing's been difficult over here at the moment. And I'm trying to get out to um, see my friend Carl, uh, who I've been working on a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to start making some new music. And it's linked in with a really big organisation that I'm excited um, to, 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 to give you this song. And it's one that I've written the most on so far, actually, which is a single, which I'm excited to say, say my, own, my own stuff for once a little bit, which is cool. Someone sent me a load of spoons. Thank you for that. Spoony. About LB2. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I'm into the idea. I'm, I'm, uh, I finally found a team I think I've really settled in with writing wise. And I've gotten to work with some great people. But I think part of the reason for me, I struggled to, ma to make the music I wanted to make so far has been, you know, settling down with a, with a good team and, and feeling really at home with your, your, with your sound. Um, which, you know, I, I mean, have a look at someone like Harry, for instance. I think on this second album, that's, that's how he found so much of his success. You know, having, having that that link into your sound and you know we heard a bit of it on his first album but this album skyrocket you know i couldn't be more proud of him i actually spoke to him um do you still use your thor voice um well yes i do and they're not very far from each other if you want to be harry it's a bit um well the thing about harry is you kind of you know you got nice to do this a lot as well um but watermelon sugar for me was um you know <laughs> but thor is very much the other way as god no, I was really happy about that Thor impression, but my throat's actually coming back now uh, as I'm getting better. And um, no, I can't I don't really have a Thor voice anymore. Oh no, my voice got better. Now I can't talk like Thor. I spoke to Harry. Yeah, I did speak to Harry. He really lovely, actually. He called me because he, he, he has a sixth sense for what, if I'm struggling or if one of us is in trouble, I feel like. Um, and I spoke to him, and it was a really lovely catch up actually and i um got a lot of love for the man he's great he's really really great um i think you know it's hard in this position sometimes you're watching people's stories from the far that you you know you used to know so well and that can be difficult when you you know you feel um like a piece of you is missing with them at points i guess and i think you know we've all felt this at different times us me and the boys and uh it's yeah like i say it's almost like missing a very dear friend a lot of the time um, but everyone's so busy and, and, you know, you've got to be understanding of all that. But I'd love to, us to get in a room at some point, I think, would be, would be the best thing. And we've all said it outside, but we've just not said it to each other. There's a song in there somewhere. Somebody write that down. This is how many people that I have worked for me. Not one person wrote anything down. <laughs> Somebody write that down. I don't have any friends. I'm just going to pretend I've got loads of people. Come on, people. Let's keep this operation moving. No? Um, <laughs> uh, duh, duh, duh. what else am I going to say I haven't drawn anything in a minute in a hot minute which I need to kind of get back into um, yeah and there's some there's definitely more surprises in store along with this uh, why did you decide to cut your hair to be honest with you having long hair I have grown an appreciation um, for women obviously a lot of them have long hair and I mean some men have long hair too but I've got a new appreciation because even just hair is 
a solid 40 minute effort if you have long hair. Then you've got to think about nails, eyelashes. You know, I mean, all of these things are crossing over now. I don't think that eyelashes and nails is something I'm going to join in with purely because I'm a very lazy person. And I feel like I like the fact that I can like just wax in this and leave it. So I have a new appreciation and a newfound respect for people with very long hair and also people who have makeup. You know, I do makeup sometimes when we do shows and stuff myself. Gee, even that's effort. I've got a shirt on that has holes in it right now, as we speak, and paint on it just to show that I am an artist. <laughs> I'm not faking it, honestly. <laughs> no, I mean, that's the one thing I do want to get across the line with this, actually. The, the, the way this NFT kind of formed and the way we built this thing was that I drew a picture a while ago of something that I kind of formed from a bunch of characters, and it was to do with lockdown, which is quite kind of cool in a way. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's all from one drawing that was a 25-minute drawing that's now turned into, like, the most monumental thing we've done in a long while, actually. And I have to thank my team on this, by the way, because um, they have been working relentlessly on how we frame this, you know, to make it say enough that, you know, it, say, it says enough. It's, it's meaningful. I don't want to put anything else out in the world that doesn't really have a meaning behind it or, or, or a reasoning. Um, and and this, this really, really does. So it's been... Um, Great to progress with something new and, and, and hit a new industry as well, which is cool. Has anybody else got more, um, any more questions they would like to know about stuff? <coughs> oh, I'm just going to verify, by the way, this whole illness thing. Because I saw a newspaper about somewhere saying, oh, he has a cough-related illness. Almost like trying to frame that I've got corona. But I tested myself twice. And unless my kits are broken, I do not have corona. And I did the whole 72 hours thing. Yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, that, that's why I love you. you know, things like that. Someone's doing something off camera and I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> what should I have for dinner? Uh, recently, I have gone... I don't want to say vegan because I, <laughs> I still like milk and cheese too much. But I've gone vegetarian at the moment, which has been um, a new one for me. Uh, after watching some rather scary programming on Netflix, uh, I kind of made the switcheroo. And I do feel better for it, I'll be honest with you. What's the craziest thing that Louis has ever done? I wouldn't even know where to start. I mean, it's just now it all blurs into I can just hear his laugh in, my, in the back of my mind for each thing that um, I'm trying to think what's a crazy thing. I mean, we once broke into one of the stadiums in America and got chased by like a woman on a uh, on a oh hi Cruz, thanks for checking in. Um, yeah, I got um, I got chased by a woman on a on a what's it called a vest? No, not a vest, but what they called the things you lean on. I don't know. Anyway, it was one of them little like cop machines, like like um, like a mall cop type thing. And that was quite crazy. He also left me on my own while I was being arrested nearly by a French policeman that I had to push over, which I've, that still scares me to this day. But no, that's what friends are for. I helped him over the fence to get in somewhere. He left me with the policeman who didn't have a clue who the hell I was and uh, tried to arrest me, even though I was going in just trying to innocently go to my hotel. Um, so that's what, what, that's what friends are for in the end, really, I suppose. Um, don't be shy and go on tour I mean who knows I mean I've always said to you guys you know I'm waiting for my, my song book to speak to me about it um, and it's just I, I, it's almost there but it's not quite there I, 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 will, I will at some point for sure Can you speak in Spanish, please? I spoke like a low husky. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bien. ¿Y tú? Un sacabotas. That was good Spanish. That felt like, that, I, that was a moment, you know? Did you feel that? Wild. What's your favorite memory of Brazil? My favorite memory of Brazil, I racked up a 30 grand bar bill, pouring my own drinks, because I'd learned to make two cocktails for the whole crew. 
And at the end of the night, I would de was DJing and someone gave me the bill. And I was like, I'm not paying for drinks that I was making for other people. Didn't get any tips from any other team. And everyone left me with a bill. So I put it on somebody else's room. <laughs> I put it on somebody else's room. And then I jumped in the pool, forgetting that I had some really expensive shoes on that I needed for the show the next day. I ruined a whole, uh, a whole pair of, of my, my favorite shoes. I mean, it was a favorite memory in a way, I suppose. Um, yeah, I suppose, that's, I suppose that, was, that was one of the best. It was a good, good pool party, though. Good pool. I was making mojitos. Make a mean mojito. Mmm. Brazil. We should go back to Brazil. I want to come to Brazil. Someone uh, tell someone to book me. <laughs> I should be telling you. I'm booked for Brazil. Why didn't anybody tell me? Who didn't invite me? Who didn't invite me to the Brazil party? Come to the Brazil and John Drops has just asked me to marry him. Oh, wow. Thank you, John. The privilege. Um, we're still trying to out Louis Tomlinson. I spoke to Louis, I want to say yesterday. Um, but we speak a lot. I mean, there's not really very much interesting things happening in our conversations. That's just a lot of laughing about random crap. You've missed my lives. Well, I've missed you. I should have done a live. I would have, well, I would have done a live while I was ill, but I couldn't talk. But I had no one to talk to because everyone just left me on my own in my house. Thanks for the help, guys. No one even turned up with a Lemsip, not so much as a Beecham's. Or the cold brands are available. Everyone just left me to cough and splutter all by myself. <laughs> hey, young Kubrick. How are you? I haven't seen you in such a long time. You posted some really funny stuff the other day. It's good to, um, good to see you again. I keep forgetting that I can write here, but I don't even know what I would write if I could. Um, guys, I think that's about it, really. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, thank you for joining and uh, coming and saying hi. Um, and yeah, my heart goes out to you. I know a lot of people are still suffering out there at the moment, uh, uh, Corona and, and, and stuff. And um, uh, I was I was part of signing a paper recently. Uh, uh, so I don't think it's out yet though. But there's, there's, there's a, there is a movement happening on something which I'm quite excited about. I think it's the right it's the right thing to do. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys please stay safe. Uh, be kind and look after each other. Um, and I'll be back soon with with more news. And uh, we'll do another one of these again uh, for you guys soon. To uh, to speak. Lots of love. Have a good evening. Thank you.